The information we've added to our first product this far is the bare minimum. Let's add some more. Go to Products, All Products, and you'll see our yellow sweater product with its thumbnail image listed. Click on it to enter the WooCommerce editor. Scroll down to Inventory and we give it an SKU. SKU stands for Stock Keeping Unit, and this is basically the special code to identify the product. There could be many different types of yellow sweaters at our shop, so we give this one a unique code, which will be the SKU. Enable Manage Stock. This displays the amount of items in stock. Type in 10 and we leave the rest of the settings. Let's add a review. I know it's not a good idea to review your own product, right? We'll add one anyway for tutorial purposes. Add something. And click on Add Comment. This is where all future comments will appear. Then add some more product images. Unfortunately, I don't have more yellow sweater images, so I'll just add some other random images. But the idea is you have other images of the same product. Go to Product Gallery and add a few more. Select the ones you want to display and click on Add to Gallery. Update your page and preview. Our SKU is now visible with in-stock numbers, additional images in the gallery, and the review below. The reviews still say zero, as the one left by us is marked as admin. Let's open an incognito browser window and add another comment. Go back to WordPress, refresh the browser, and notice the comment notification in the sidebar. Scroll down to where the review section is and choose to approve or trash it. Now we've got a fully fledged product. Let's add some more. 